Hey, Al. <laughs> so good to see you. I can't hear you. You're muted, I think. But I'll see you later. <laughs> Did I fix it? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh. How are you? <laughs> How are you, yoga mats? Um, you know, they're just some really great Amazon quality. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, well, I'm glad you're here. I know it's like 8 p.m. your time, so thank you. I know, it's fine. We're excited. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I just found your with Spotify playlist. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I, I added it to the chat. Oh, okay. Oh, I found it. I just typed it in. Great. Woo this I'll is tell you so when to start fun. It. What? So fun. More <laughs> I'll tell you when to start it. More people will join in like 10 minutes. So yeah, cool. just get yourself comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if you guys are just joining us, I know we're super early. We have like 10 minutes until class starts. Um, go ahead and open up the playlist that I linked in the, in the chat and then I'll tell you guys when to start it. Hi, Emily. It's Lauren. Hi, who is this? Oh, Lauren. Yay, so glad you're here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on my video in just a second. Yeah, yeah, no, get situated. Hey, Katie. Lavia. <laughs> hey, you're doing it. First time ever doing yoga, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, well, I'll give you some modifications. No, it's all. I'm ready to be. Go in bed. all out. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so if you guys are just joining us, um, feel free to wait to turn your video on if, if you don't feel comfortable right now. Um, but go ahead and open up my playlist. I'll link it again in the chat. And then I'll tell you guys when to start it.
Hello, hello. If you're just joining us, go ahead and open up the playlist. I'll link it. I'll just keep linking it. Hey, Al. Hey, Demi. <laughs> hello. 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 Okay. So, uh, do you want me to do the Spotify thing? I'm going to just unmute real quick. Hey, Dylan and Lindsay. Hi, Emily. <laughs> Hi. I was semi frightened last time when I uh, saw that I was on your big screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we're you out in the living room. You guys have such a good setup. <laughs> yeah, we're on carpet where I've never really done yoga on carpet before, but other than that, it's pretty good. Hi, good. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Joe. I set up some candles. Oh, amazing. Yeah, if you guys are um, just getting set up, we have like five or six minutes till class starts. So pull up a playlist. Um, we are going to be doing um, Ekapada Galavasana tonight. So we'll work into Flying Pigeon. Um, whether or not you get into that, you will definitely get a good core workout, open shoulders, open hips. So um, if you typically use like a blanket in Half Pigeon, Sleeping Pigeon, then you can grab that, maybe a block, maybe some soup cans. If not, I'll guide you through a, a good flow. I just did it this morning, so it'll be a good one. Hi, Em. Who's talking? Oh, is that? Becca. Uh, I can hear your voice. Oh, Becca, there you are. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. When should I start the playlist? I'll tell you guys when to start it. Oh, yeah. Probably in like in like five or six minutes once class starts. Cool. Thanks. Okay, I have the video off, so I'll get my mat and then I'll go do it. Oh, yeah, she has Courtney Camarado, love it. <laughs> Hi, <Al. laughs> Hi. Anna, here I can show you us for a second. Where is she? It's like a little yell party. And then uh, Justine's joining too. I love it. Hi, guys. Where are you um, sheltering? Are you in Tahoe? Yeah, we're in Tahoe. Oh, fun. Yeah, how are you? Doing well, actually. I mean, like, considering the conditions. Um, yeah, your website is just, awesome. I had just seen post, it before. Oh, thank you. Yeah, just post it up in, in our place in San Francisco. It's been nice. nice having a backyard, practicing a ton of yoga. So, Demi just goes, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> is that Lexi? Uh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I can't wait okay, to let me yeah, so let I'm me add this. H and Jess. Oh, Jess. hey! Hi. Little party over there. Yeah, is this your quarantine crew? Yeah. <laughs> what a fun crew. Where are you guys? We're in Palm Springs. Oh, fun. Hey, Sky. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing in Ojai? Good. We have a good view today. So beautiful. Yeah. You know, I've been a little jealous of your of your setup. You made the right decision going straight there. I like your backyard setup, though. It's pretty cool, too. It's, it's okay. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, you guys. If you're just coming in, we're going to get started in about, like, three or four minutes. So, um, you know, pull up the playlist, make yourself comfy, grab some candles, some incense, just, like, get the vibes going. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know when to start um, the playlist, so. Yeah. Tate! Hi! I 
love seeing you in these virtual classes. Yeah, these have been awesome, Emily. Haley! Oh, good. I'm glad to. <laughs> Dude, I got, I got a whole East Coast crew up in here. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Like two more minutes until we start. Here's the playlist again. Um, and quick shout out to Direct Relief, who I donate half of the proceeds and donations to. Actually just found out they're based out of Santa Barbara. So all of my uh, UCSB friends up in here, we are supporting a Santa Barbara based company. So that was a uh, very serendipitous. <laughs> okay, so if you're just coming in, I know there's a lot of people coming in right now because it's like 5 p.m. on the dot, then welcome. Welcome to Virtual Vinyasa. Um, we are going to get started in a couple of moments here. So go ahead and open. Oops, Amanda, I think I'm just sending you this privately. Um, go ahead and open up the playlist. Make sure to mute yourself. I think there's someone that's not muted. And then you can pin my video so that I am the only person that you see. I mean, unless you want to see other people, that's cool too. Okay, looks like a few people that aren't muted. Give me a second. Hey, Julie. Hey, Misha. Yay, so many friends. All right. So if you're just coming in, I'm going to um, share the playlist one last time. Um, welcome to Virtual Vinyasa. Very, very happy to have all of you guys here. Um, you know, something I've realized about myself it, that I obviously kind of already knew, but I'm a very extroverted person and, um, you know, teaching yoga is something that brings me a lot of joy. But if you come to my classes, you know that typically when I see my students, I'm giving you guys big hugs before or after class, adjustments all throughout class. And so um, just definitely missing that physical connection. So it's really nice to see all of your faces here, whether you practice with me regularly or not. Um, if you're just joining us, go ahead and open up the playlist and then we are going to get started. So if you are um, just coming in, like I said, open up that playlist. Um, today we're going to be working on uh, getting into an arm balance, which is Ekapada Galavasana. Uh, that is flying pigeon. So whether or not you make it into flying pigeon or not, you will definitely get a really nice core workout. Um, nice shoulder opening and shoulder strengthening, and then definitely open up those hips. So before we start the playlist, please make sure that you are muted. Um, there's a lot of people on this call, like 90 people. So um, I'll try to mute everyone if you're not already muted. There's like one person that I'm hearing. <laughs> Okay, cool. Perfect. Then let's all start our playlist now. So it's that first song is called Moving by Eskimotion. So you can go ahead and start the playlist now. And then I want you guys to get started at the very back of your mat in Sukhasana. And that's seated meditation. So find a nice cross-legged position. Back of your mat, eyes are closed. Find a long, tall spine. If you're just joining us, welcome. I'm so happy to have this time with you guys. We might go a little over an hour today because I have a lot to cover. <laughs> so find a nice, long, tall spine, close the eyes, and then just take a deep breath out of your mouth. 
you have arrived here. <laughs> Just let yourself be here now. Mm. Please mute yourself. Mm. Bye. Palms are facing down the knees. Find a nice long, tall spine. And then feel the shoulders relaxing all the way down your back. See if you can lengthen your spine just a little bit longer and then start to pull the navel up and in. And start to shift your awareness to your breath. Noticing the flow of the breath moving in and out of the body. And then we're here together now. We're grounded, we're connected, we're rooted. We are supported here in our practice, holding each other up. And so something that tends to get lost in these times of uncertainty is our root chakra, our muladhara chakra. That's our first chakra. It makes us feel safe and secure rooted and connected. And so I want you guys to really connect to that center, that root chakra, grounding your sits bones all the way down and feeling safe and at home while we're together on our mats. And then right here, right now, before we begin to move, start to set an intention for your practice. This is your sankalpa, your purpose, your intention. And go deep within your heart to really set that intention, make it meaningful. We'll all bring our hands to heart center. Atman Anjali Mudra. Bow your chin in towards your prayer. Take a full breath in. Open up your mouth, exhale. Good, seal your lips, ujjayi breath now. Inhale through the nose. Smooth exhale out of your nose. Two more like that together. Inhale through the nose, fill all the way up. Smooth exhale out of the nose, release it all out. Last time, inhale, lengthen the breath, lengthen the spine. And then smooth exhale out of the nose, let it all come out. Good, open up the eyes, inhale, sweep the fingertips high up towards the sky. And exhale, crawl the fingertips all the way forward, bow forward. So you're still in that seat, you're in Sukhasana. Push the hip bones down, push the glutes down as you ground the forehead down. So you're breathing into the outer hips. If you're just joining us, we will be working on shoulders, hips, and core today. So we'll get into Eka Padadalavasana, flying pigeon. Start to walk your hands all the way over towards the right side of your mat. You're still in that cross-legged position. So we're breathing into the outer hip. Good, and then walk your hands all the way over towards the left. Ground the right sit bone all the way down. Full inhale, full exhale. Good, walk the hands forward. Come into a neutral tabletop pose. So uncross the shins, shoulders stack directly over wrists hips stacked directly over knees. Fingers are spread really wide. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly. Open up your chest, gaze lifts last. And then exhale, cat pose, round the spine, tuck your chin, breathe into the back of your heart. Hold here for a few moments. So focus on separating the shoulder blades, the scapula on the upper back. Pull your navel up and in. And then remember this sensation, this feeling, because you'll need it when we move into our arm balances. Let's flow through that a few times. Inhale, cow pose. Belly drops, heart opens. Exhale, cat pose, spine rounds, chin tucks. Two more, inhale, cow pose. Breathe out, cat pose. Last time, inhale. Exhale. 
Good, come to that neutral tabletop pose. Walk your hands two handprints forward so that they're almost at the top of your mat. Inhale, shift forward so that the shoulders come directly over the fingertips. Exhale, bend your elbows. It's kind of like a chaturanga, but your knees are down. Good, inhale, push back up. Shoulders are directly over fingertips. Exhale, send the hips all the way back to a child's pose. Forehead drops down towards the mat. Let's do that several more times. Inhale, pull all the way forward. Long neutral spine. Exhale, bend your elbows and hover. Good, inhale, push back up. Exhale, send your hips back to that child's pose. Keep it going, inhaling forward. Exhale, elbows bend, modified chaturanga. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. Now move at your own pace. So you're either moving really slowly, maybe a little more rapidly if you'd like to get those extra push-ups in. And what we're doing here is we're starting to warm up the arms, the triceps, and the outer hips so that we can move into that arm balance a little bit later. Let's aim for two to three more. Keep it moving, keep breathing. Just incorporating a little flow into our practice. Close out your last one. Let's arrive in that child's pose together. Two big toes come to touch. Forehead grounds all the way down. Take a full breath into the low back. Full breath out. Good, gaze forward at the palms. Tuck your toes under, inhale, shoot forward to high plank pose. Shoulders are over wrists. Long, strong body. Spread the fingers really wide. Take a full inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send the hips all the way up and back. Maybe this is your first down dog of the day. Maybe you've been taking a lot of virtual vinyasa classes. Wherever you're at, feel into your body. So you can bend one knee and the other. Maybe swivel the heels side to side, just breathe. And start to make your way into that neutral downward facing dog. Lift the hip bones up and back. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Take a full inhale. And on your exhale, walk your hands all the way towards the back of your mat. Fold forward, grab your elbow. Find a little micro bend in the knees. And then for anyone that came on my yoga retreat to Mexico or to the last class, we're gonna make this a tradition. So we'll move into sundials. Move your chest over towards the right leg. Lift the left elbow up. So the left elbow is gliding you up. And then come all the way down the left side, gliding with the left elbow. Come back to that forward fold and then repeat again. Big sundials. Taking that big motion, breathing into the sides of your body. Push your two big toes down into the mat as you rise up and then come all the way back down. Finish your last one in that direction. And then when you reach the bottom, Hang out for a breath and change direction. So your right elbow is guiding you all the way up and then all the way down. Ground the feet down. Nice, you guys. Keep it going. About three more. Just warming up the spine, warming up the sides of the body. And then the next time, you reach center, hang out there, start to interlace your hands right at the low back. Press the fist forward, let the head and neck relax. You can shake up the head side to side if that feels good. Open up the shoulders, take one last inhale. And then exhale, release your hands down. Take your dog for a walk, downward facing dog. Find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank pose, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, push it back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Two more, inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Down dog. Embody a wave, inhale, ripple the body forward, high plank. 
This time, exhale, lower all the way down to your belly in one piece. Untuck your toes, slide your hands back just a little bit. Push the tops of your feet down, inhale. Lift your head and heart up, Cobra Pose, Ujjangasana. Can you pinch the shoulder blades a little bit closer together? Last inhale. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes under, push back up to high plank. You can always use your knees there if you need to. Exhale, send the hips up and back. Down dog, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, sweep the right leg high up to the sky. And then exhale like a fire hydrant, bring your right leg out to the right. So the right leg is coming out towards the right. Lift it high up and then circle the right foot until it reaches the front of the left foot. Okay, so the right foot is crossed right in front of the left foot. Now let's do that on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, left leg comes all the way out towards the left. So the left foot is in the same line as the left hip. And then circle it all the way in front of the right ankle. And keep that moving until you reach the top of your mat. So it should take you about a minute. Inhale, reach the right leg up, circle it down and around. And then other side, left leg up, down and around. So if you're practicing with friends or loved ones, you're lucky to have a shelter partner that maybe you want to stagger for this move. So we're all walking all the way to the top of the mat. Somehow I'm out of breath. We're only like 10 minutes in. <laughs> this could get interesting. And then let's all meet at the very, very top of the mat. Take your time though. Feet can be hips width distance apart. Bend one knee, bend the other. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Lengthen the spine really long. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Push into your feet. Inhale, rise the arms all the way up to stand, and then I want you to interlace your fingers. So interlace all of your fingers, and then push up. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like here, okay? And then maybe take a little back bend. So send the hips forward, open up the chest. Exhale, fold all the way forward, good. Inhale, halfway lift, spine lengthens long. Exhale, step back to a high plank pose. Strong arms, since we're working the shoulders and working into an arm balance, we're gonna go straight into Chaturanga. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, elbows bend 90 degrees. Upward facing dog or cobra pose. Inhale, open the chest, push into to the tops of the feet to lift the thighs. Nice, guys. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Three more times like that. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, fold forward. Good, inhale, reach all the way up to stand, fingertips interlace, maybe you take that little back bend. Exhale, fold down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose, you decide. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Good, I'll guide you through one more and then you'll have two more on your own. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, little hop, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, spine lengthens. Exhale, fold. Fingertips right by toe tips. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Open the chest. Exhale, fold straight back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Spine lengthens long. Exhale, plant the palms. Step or shoot back. Chaturanga. If you're modifying, you can just step back to downward facing dog. Good. Adho Mukha Shanasan. Down dog. As you're ready, you'll just gaze forward and move through that exact same cycle two to three more times. Good. Take your time, breathe, nice Katie. Good Levi, first yoga class, amazing. <laughs> just tune into the breath here. So with 
every inhale, you're opening the body in some way. And then every exhale, you're closing out the movement. Nice, Lauren. We've got Amy Reynoso in here, everyone. Looking so good. Yes. Okay, you guys have a few more moments to make it back to Auto Mukashwanasan, downward facing dog. Susan's in here. I love it. I'm so used to seeing all of you guys at Yoga Beach. Nice to have you virtually. All right, just a few more breaths. If you're in downward facing dog, really seal your lips and tune back into the Ujjayi breath. So full inhales, full exhale. Good. And then inhale, sweep your right leg high up to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Get it as high as you can. Tap that right knee over towards the left tricep without moving the hips. Tap it back over towards the right tricep. Get it as high as you can. Good. Inhale, right leg reaches high to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee down. Untuck the back toes, interlace your fingertips down by your right foot, and then push the palms forward as you glide up to low lunge. Maybe taking a little back bend. Squeeze the left butt cheek as hard as you can to breathe into the left psoas muscle. See if you can send the hips a little further forward, open up the chest a little more. Last inhale. And then exhale, release your fingertips and swim your arms back and then forward, come into half splits. Ardha Hanumanasana, straighten and fold over the right leg. Right foot is flexed, inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold deeper over the right leg. Good, you guys bend into the right knee, plant the palms down, tuck the back toes under, inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down towards your belly in one piece. Untuck the toes, push the pubic bone down, inhale, lift everything up. So the hands are hovering, the feet are hovering. It's a modified Shalavasana. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, long back of the neck. Big inhale, exhale, release down, downward facing dog. So you move through a push up to get there. Other side, inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Squeeze it as high as you can. Tap it over towards the right tricep, back towards the left tricep. Good, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Right knee comes down, right toes untucked. Interlace your hands down by the ground and then push forward and up to open the heart. So really push the palms towards the ceiling or the sky and then take the back bend. Squeeze the right glute. Lengthen the right psoas muscle. Take one last inhale here. Exhale, release the fingertips. Swim the arms back and then forward. So that'll open the shoulders. Half splits. Ardha Hanumanasana. Straighten and fold over that left leg. Inhale, we lengthen our spine together as we send the left hip bone back. Exhale, fold over that left leg. Good. Bend into the left knee. Plant the palms. Tuck the back toes. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down towards your belly. Good, untuck the toe. Inhale, lift everything up. So you're hovering your hands, you're hovering your feet really long from the crown of the head all the way to the toes. Full inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push up and back. We'll take a breath together. Full breath in, full breath out. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times on each side. First time on each side, I will guide you through it and then you'll do it on your own. Inhale, right leg sweeps high to the sky. Exhale, knee to the right. Cross it over towards the left. Back to the right. Right leg rises, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Back knee drops, fingers interlace. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, open the heart. Exhale, release the hands down, half splits. One breath to lengthen, one breath to fold. 
Good, bend into the right knee. High plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Lift everything up, inhale, hover. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, knee to the left. Swing it over towards the right. Use your core over towards the left. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Back knee drops, fingers interlace. Inhale, swim the arms up, open the chest. Exhale, release the hands. Half split, straighten and fold. One breath to lengthen the spine. One breath to fold over the left leg and breathe into the hamstring. Good, bend into the left knee. High plank pose as you inhale. Lower all the way down towards your belly as you exhale. Squeeze the legs together, inhale. Hover and lift everything. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, now it's your turn. Start to move whenever you're ready, starting with the right leg lifting. Squeeze that right tricep, swing it over towards the left, and then just move on your own. If you forget the movement, no worries. Just do what feels good in the body. Nice, Lindsay and Dylan. Good, you guys. Dan and Christina, I can't see you, but I'm sure you're doing it perfectly. <laughs> nice stuff. Oh, we've got the whole Buena Vida crew in here. I love it. Good job, Kate. Andrew Shane, happy belated birthday. <laughs> nice, you guys. So make your way through that second side. Good, breathing deeply. And if you finish a little bit early, you just hang out. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. If you're still making your way through it, it looks like a lot of people are still in half splits on the left side. So take your time. Good, you guys, breathing. And then notice the shoulders, the hips, the core, they all feel a little bit more activated. So Harry, your camera's off, but I'm sure you just did a great job. Take a big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, let's move on. Inhale, right leg sweeps high up to the sky. Exhale, right knee to your nose, squeeze it in. Good, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Interlace the fingertips, rise up, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. So same thing we were doing with our back knee down. If you ever need to modify, you can just drop the left knee down. Lengthen the spine, squeeze the left glute. And then release the interlace overhead. Bend into your left elbow and capture your left elbow with your right hand. The left hand is gliding down the small of your back. You can stay here or start to grab the left fingertips with the right fingertips for full archer pose. So we're opening up the shoulders here. Keep bending into the right knee. Right knee is stacked directly over right ankle. And if you'd like, you can start to glide into the back bend. Left elbow glides towards the back of your mat. Open up the chest. And then no matter where you are, start to release your right hand down the back of your left thigh and sweep the left fingertips overhead. So you're in a back bend. Exalted crescent lunge. Keep the shoulder blades square towards the front of the mat or the sky. Take a full inhale. Exhale, twist. Left elbow outside of right knee. You can stay here in the half bind. You can bring your hands to heart center or slip into the full bind. You take your variation, we're here for several breaths. Keep squeezing that left leg so it's really active. Keep rolling the right shoulder blade back, almost as if, as if it's capturing the back of your heart. Good, you guys, keep breathing. Lengthen the spine, last inhale. 
Exhale, release your hands down. Straighten and fold over your right leg, but keep your left heel lifted. We're only in pyramid pose for a beat. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, micro bend that right knee, standing splits. Inhale, left heel comes high up towards the sky. Crown of your head melts down towards your mat. You can capture the back of your right ankle with your right hand. That feels good in the body. Last breath here. Exhale, step the left foot next to the right. Feet are hips width distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Interlace the fingertips like we've been doing. Inhale, chair pose. Utkatasana. So sit the glutes low, lengthen the spine high. Looks like the sun is creeping into my backyard, so you can barely see me, but that's okay. Weight is in the heels. Push the palms up. Try to straighten the arms as you wrap and frame the ears with your biceps. Stay low. The hips are really low, almost in the same line as the knees. Full inhale here. Exhale, half chair. Sweep the palms forward. The fingers are still interlaced. Hip bones towards the back of your mat. So this is a big outer hip opener, and it also finds stability in the core. So pull the navel up and in. You can probably guess where we're going next. Take one last breath in here. Exhale, plant your palms down, shoulder width distance apart. Crow prep, bakasana prep. If you have a strong crow, feel free to go into it now if you've never done it before. Palms are shoulder width distance apart. Shove your knees up and towards your armpits. You just are going to rock your body weight forward, forward, forward. Maybe lift one of your feet. That's okay. Maybe lift the other foot. Notice the cat-like shape in your upper back. And then maybe you lift both of your feet. We're all here for three. You will step back or shoot back to chaturanga in two and one. Step or hop back. Good. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Full inhale. Release it out, exhale. Good, left leg lifts, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Interlace the fingertips, rise up, crescent lunge. Anjaneyasana. So find the pose first. Left foot is grounded, right leg is strong. Imagine my fist is pushing into the back of your right thigh, and you're really pushing the back of your right thigh into my fist. Good, now start to bend into the right elbow. Capture the right elbow with that left hand. See if you can place your right palm on the back of your heart and then lift the back of your heart up. Stay here, come into full archer. Interlacing the fingers. Open the chest, bend the left knee. Good, you guys, stay with it. We're building heat. Start to release the left fingertips all the way down towards the back of the right thigh, where my imaginary fist just was, and then reach the right fingertips towards the back of the mouth. Open the heart, exalted warrior. Good, keep the left knee bent. So we're building heat, you can probably feel it. Last breath in. Exhale, twist, right elbow outside of left knee. You can either stay in that half bind, bring the hands to heart center, or slip into the full bind. Keep twisting the sternum up towards your thumbs, and glide the left hip bone back into space. Right leg is really strong, keep twisting, commit to the pose. Last inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, straighten and fold over the left leg just for a beat. Crawl your fingertips out really long in front of you and let your head and neck relax. Good. Micro bend the left knee. Standing split. Stay with me. Inhale, right leg comes high up towards the sky. You're welcome to capture the back of your left ankle, your left heel with your left hand. And then keep driving that left foot down to reach the right leg high. Big inhale. Exhale, step the right foot next to the left. Feet are hips width distance apart. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Open mouth, exhale, fold forward. 
Good, interlace the fingers, inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach the arms all the way up, and then right away, half chair. Send the hands forward, hip bones come all the way back. It's almost as if your ribs could just gently graze and grace your thighs. Long line of energy from fingertips all the way down to the hip tips. Last inhale here. Exhale, crow prep second time. So you're welcome to go straight into crow pose, bakasana. Again, if you're working into it, bend your elbows, shove your knees up in towards your armpits, get high off of your heels, and then lean forward further than you think. Maybe lifting one foot, maybe the other. We're gonna hang out in crow for a few more breaths. If you're ending early, we will all meet in Malasana Yogi Squat. In three, stay with it, two, little cat back, and one, land in Malasana. So your feet are as wide as your mat, heels are in, toes are out, hands are at heart center. Did I lose some of you? I hope not. Lengthen your spine, breathe, focus, and then send the elbows into the inner knees so that you can really open up your hip flexors. Last breath in here. Navasana boat pose is the release. Drop the glutes down. You can grab the backs of the thighs if that feels good, or release your arms out long in front of you. Okay, I told you we'd work the core. We're gonna do some yoga crunches together. So take a full inhale here, full exhale. Gently lower so that we're hovering. So we're in a hovering boat pose, low boat. Take a full inhale here. Exhale, lift it back up, high boat. Let's do 10 of those together. Inhale, exhale. That's one, inhale. Exhale, crunch up, two. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Good, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch it up. Last five, four, Stay with it, three, come up, two, one, hold and hover here, hold and hover here, elevate your right leg all the way up, so your shoulder blades are hovering, your left foot is hovering, bring your hands outside of your right leg, interlace the fingers, and start to pulse up for 10, for nine, for eight, your shoulder blades are hovering, for six, for five, for four, three, two, one, change legs. So left leg is lifted, right heel is hovering, we're pulsing to the left. 10, nine, eight, shoulders are hovering. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Relax your head and neck. Take a full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Okay, release your arms down towards the mat. So palms face down. If you were in Jason Crandall's class last night, then good, you're one step ahead of everyone else. You're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee. So we're in a figure four without using our arms, okay? So right ankle is over left knee, and then flex both of your feet. Drive your left knee close towards your chest. Okay, so we're in figure four without our arms. Now listen to me carefully. Grab your arm, well don't grab your arms, you can't do that. Reach your arms through that little opening in your legs, okay? So the arms are through the legs, palms are now going to face up towards the sky or the ceiling. And then bend your elbows, bend your elbows, and lift your head and neck up. So you're cradling your right shin. Palms face your face, you're cradling the right shin. Start to extend the left leg out long in front of you and let the left heel drop all the way down towards the mat. You can stay here, or if you have enough flexibility, you'll drop your head all the way down. So it's almost like we're in half pigeon here, but we're on our backs, okay? So we're breathing into the hips. If you can get your right leg all the way behind your head, go for it. I'm not gonna teach that today, but it's an option. Good, you have a few more breaths here. Breathe into the outer right hip, stay with me. Good, last inhale. Exhale, gently lift the head up, release the arms from out from underneath your right shin, and then hug your knees in towards your chest. Nice, rock side to side. You know the other side is coming. 
Okay, so palms come down, arms come down on the mat. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Flex your feet, drive your left shin in towards your chest first. So you're in figure four without the arms. Good, now your fingers and your arms are gonna shoot through your leg, that little opening, palms will face up, and then grab onto the left shin bone. Okay, so it's almost like your left shin bone is in that little elbow crease that you have. Lift the head and chest up, shoulder blades are off the mat. Extend the right leg long, right heel drops. So you should feel a really deep hip stretch here. You have more flexibility. Let the head and neck relax. And just hug the shin bone in towards the heart. Maybe you want to rock it side to side. Good, so we're opening up the hips. Again, option to bring that left foot all the way behind your head and neck, if you have that variation. I tried it last night, I couldn't get it. <laughs> okay, last inhale. Exhale, lift the head and chest up, hug knees in towards chest, and then start to rock forward and back, forward and back, the whole length of your spine three times. And let, let's land in a high plank pose. Good, high plank pose, we're all together here now. I see you guys, good, big breath in. Chaturanga, rinse it out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Full breath in together, full breath out. Good, right leg lifts all the way up, inhale. Knee to the right, exhale. Swing it over towards the left. Back towards the right, you remember this. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, set the right foot in between the hands. Rise up, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Fingertips are not interlaced this time. Good, now face the palms forward. So your palms are facing the front of your mat, your arms are straight. Imagine like you could almost pull up a pull-up bar. Take a, actually, sorry, the palms are facing the back of the mat. Palms are facing the back of the mat. Almost like you're pulling up a pull-up bar. Stomp the right foot down. Take a big inhale. Exhale, pull that imaginary pull-up bar down towards your hip bones as you lift your left knee in towards your chest for one-legged Tadasana. And we'll do that five times together. Inhale, lift the arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, pull the fist down towards the hip bones. Good, four more, inhale. Find the flow, exhale. Three more, inhale, step back, crescent. Exhale, pull knee towards chest. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And then pause on the exhale, one-legged Tadasana. Reach the arms all the way up, inhale. You're balancing on your right leg now. Exhale, left arm underneath right arm, left leg over right leg. Garuda Asana. Eagle pose. So try to glide the hips towards center here. Find one focal point. I'm staring at my spatula. <laughs> and then sink the hips really, really low. Lift your elbows as high or higher than your shoulders. Good. Ground down through that right foot. Last inhale here. And on the exhale, crunch your elbows towards your knees. Next, your eagle. This takes a lot of core stability, a lot of outer right glute strength. And as you're ready, start to extend the left leg back behind you. Eagle armed Virabhadrasana three. Eagle armed warrior three. One long line of energy from fingertips all the way back towards that left heel. Keep the right foot grounded down, almost like it's a tree rooted in towards the earth. Last breath in. Warrior one with eagle arms is your release. Micro bend that right knee, land softly, and then lift the elbows all the way up. Left heel is grounded, full inhale. Exhale, humble warrior with eagle arms. Let the head and neck relax. Right shoulder creeps on top of or the inside of that right knee. And then dial the right hip bone back in space. You can probably see your left foot now. So make sure it's down on the earth. Nothing is lifted in the feet. Take a full breath in here. Good, release your hands. And we're gonna crawl towards the back of our mat towards Skandasana. 
bend into the left knee. Your hands can come to heart center, or if you want to move with me, your arms will come out to a diagonal, almost like you could touch your right toes with your right fingers. And then let's shift over towards Sandasana, top of our, our mat. Hands can be at heart center on the earth or you're tapping your left toes and then keep it going. So almost like you're a little yoga ninja, moving side to side, opening up the hips. Hands can be wherever you'd like. Nobody can really see you except for me, <laughs> if your camera's on. Good, we're here for three. Balance it out for two. And then we'll meet at the back of our mat for one. Stay here. Arms can reach out in opposite directions. You can take a half bind or the full bind behind your back. Opening hips and shoulders at the exact same time. Good, big breath in here. Exhale, release the hands. Crawl towards the top of your mat. Ground the left palm down. And then grab onto your right big toe with your right peace fingers and your right thumb. Spin onto the outer edge of your left foot. And then come up to side plank Vashisthasana. You can hover the right foot or extend the right leg all the way up towards the sky. Nice, you guys. Balance on that left hand. We're here for three. Release to Chaturanga in two. And one thing else. Whew. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. And then slide your hands underneath your feet. Hara Hastasana. Gorilla pose. A chance to rest. To relax. To massage your wrist creases. Shake out the head. Shake out the neck. And take a big sigh of relief. Ha! Good. And then release your hands out from underneath your feet. Take your dog for a walk. Downward facing dog. Nice. Auto Mukha Svanasana. Let's do that on the other side now. Left leg rises all the way up. Inhale. Knee to left tricep. Exhale. Squeeze it over towards the right. And then the left. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands and we rise together, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. So palms face the back of the mat. Good, we all have it right. We know where we're going, so take a full inhale. Exhale, squeeze that pull-up bar towards your hip bones. Right knee comes in towards the chest. Let's do that five times together. Inhale, crescent, land softly. Exhale, one-legged Tadasana with the pull. Four more, inhale, exhale. We're flowing now, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, hold here. Arms rise high up to the sky, knee pulls in towards your chest. Right arm underneath left arm, eagle arms. Right leg over left leg, sit low. Garuda Asana, Eagle Pose. Finding that one fun focal point in your house or wherever you are to focus your drishti on. Elbows come really high, hips come a little lower. Lengthen the spine, take a full breath in here. Exhale, nest the eagle. Elbows come all the way down towards the knees. Core is really tight. Pull the elbows in towards the knees, ground the left foot down, and then as you're ready, extend the right leg all the way back. Eagle armed, Virabhadrasana three, eagle armed warrior three. So keep reaching your fingertips forward, long back of your neck, right foot is flexed. Good, we're here for three. We'll land softly in that warrior one variation in two. And one, right foot lands all the way down as you bend into the left knee. Reach the fingertips all the way up. We still have those eagle arms. Take the back bend. And exhale, humble warrior with eagle arm. Left elbow comes inside of that left knee. And just let your head and neck rest. Deep breath.
Keep sending the left hip bone back in space. Good, you're doing great. And then release your hands down. Start to walk towards the back of your mat for Skandasana. And then same thing. This time, I'm gonna keep my hands on the mat because it feels a little different. So you'll just shift forward and back for Skandasana. Good, you guys. You can let your head and neck be heavy. You can do a little dance with your arms. Just let it feel good, especially if you've been sitting at your new work from home setup. This should feel nice in the hips. Good, we're here for three. Last two. And one meet at the back of your mat. Let's all land in Skandasana. So again, arms are reaching out long. You're taking that half bind or that full bind. You'll notice the body's a little different on each side. Just breathe deeply. Keep flexing the left toes up towards the sky. Last breath in. Feel a little different this time. Release the hands and just walk towards the center of your mat. Heels will come in, toes will come out. Good, so you're still facing the side of your mat. Hands will come up towards your knees. So you're in a goddess squat. Right shoulder comes down, gaze towards the left. Back through center, inhale. Left shoulder down, gaze towards the right. And then flow that on your own. Right shoulder down, left shoulder down. We're just undulating the spine, twisting, letting it feel good, breathing into the hips, the shoulders, and then using the core. Last few moments here. Good. And then fold forward, prasarita. Heels come out, toes come in. We're in a wide legged fold. Right away, interlace your hands right at the low back and send your fists back behind your head. Let the head and neck relax, let it shake. A few moments here. Ground the feet down, last breath in. And then release the hands all the way down. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bend into that front knee, the left knee. Plant the right palm down. And then remember this, grab onto your left big toes with your left peace finger and your left thumb. Roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. You can hold here. Or lift the left foot up. Maybe lift it all the way up towards the sky. Bashi Sasana, side plank. Balance on your right hand. We're here for three. Vinyasa in two. And one, gently release and cycle that out. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, good. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Okay, one last little bit. We'll get into our peak pose. So I want you guys to shorten your downward facing dog. Walk your feet just a tiny bit closer towards your face, like one footprint. Inhale, sweep the right leg all the way up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, hold here. And then you're gonna cross your right ankle over your left knee for a figure four down dog. So lift the hips up, right ankle is over the left knee. This should feel a little bit funky. So we're breathing into the outer right hip. Send the hips up and then start to crawl your fingers all the way back towards your left ankle. Good, I'll come a little forward for you. Okay. So we're in a forward fold, but our right ankle is over our left knee. Send the hips all the way up, and then you can hang out here. If you're ready to move on, you'll bend deeply into the left knee. So bend deeply into the left knee. You're in a figure four with your fingertips directly underneath your shoulders. Stay here, or if you wanna try for the arm balance, you'll plant your palms down on the mat, bend your left knee deeply, and then take the top of your left foot, or your right foot, and wrap it around the upper left arm bone. So you're wrapping your right foot around the upper left arm bone. Bend your elbows just like chaturanga, just like crow pose. Lean forward, and then see if you can hover your left foot off the mat. You really need to lean forward here. You have that cat back. Maybe you start to extend the left leg all the way back. Good. Maybe you just hover the left foot. Nice. Let's all meet in that figure four. So we're all in a figure four. Hands come to heart center. Whatever happened was perfect. Hands come to heart center. We're in figure four. Let it go. 
and then slowly you're going to transition to tree pose. So you'll just stand up and hug the right foot into the inner left thigh. Good. Balance. Breathe. Find your breath again. Hands are at heart center, or you can reach the hands all the way up towards the sky. You're doing great. Find your balance. Last breath in here. Exhale, samasitihi. Right foot comes down, hands come to heart center. Close your eyes, bow your chin in towards your chest. Remember your intention. Feel stronger, feel more open. Full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Good, inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Take your dog for a walk, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good, and then shorten your down dog again. Feet come a little further forward. Last little standing bit here. Left leg rises up, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Figure four, downward facing dog. Left ankle crosses over the right knee. Send the hips all the way up. Breathe into the outer right hip. And then start to crawl your fingertips back, back, back towards the right foot. So we're in that forward fold, figure four. You're welcome to stay here. This does just the trick in opening the outer hip. If you're ready to move on, then you'll bend into the right knee, plant the palms down. Again, you can stay here. This is perfect. If you're ready to move on, wrap the top of your left foot around the upper right arm bone. So you're wrapping it around. Bend your elbows. Lean forward. And then use the left upper arm bone as a shelf. Lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. Cat in the upper back. Right heel towards right glute. Just see if you can tap it there. And then you'll start to lean forward and extend your right leg all the way back behind you. Ekapada Galavasana. Take your time. Slowly come out of it. We're in figure four. Figure four. Let's all meet in figure four. Hands come to heart center. Good. I see you guys. Find balance. And then visualize yourself in tree pose and see if you can just stand up and slip the inner edge of the left foot onto the right leg. Hands are at heart center. Good, breathe. And then take your arm variation. Finding your balance. Finding your breath. The shoulders relax. Full inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Step your left foot down. Good, ground down again. Feel the root, feel the feet down in the earth. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, dive down. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, take your dog for a walk. Downward facing dog. Feel free to rinse it out with a vinyasa if you'd like. We'll all meet back in Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. And then we have to do pigeon. Right leg lifts as we inhale. Exhale, pigeon pose. Right knee, right wrist. Slide the left leg all the way back. Good. And then if you have something like a cushion or a pillow or a blanket, you can always slide it under the right glute. I've really been enjoying using props in my home practice. And then if you come to my class, you know what a stickler I am about this. Pigeon pose is a back bend, you guys. So crawl the fingertips back, take the back bend first, and then crawl the fingertips forward. Sleeping pigeon, relax. Taking full breaths. If you have another variation of pigeon you'd like to take, king pigeon, if you want to take a twist. Now's your time. You have about a minute here.
Notice how open the hip is or how much more open the right hip is than it was when you started your practice. And take about five to seven more really long, smooth breaths. Good, start to draw your awareness back into your body. And walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Lift your chest up and then just swing your left leg out long in front of you. So we're gonna take Janu Sirshasana. It's kind of like tree pose in the legs. The sole of the right foot is on the inner left leg. Left foot is flexed and then turn your upper body over towards your left leg. Sweep the arms all the way up as you inhale. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Grab onto whatever you can for this variation, the left ankle, the left heel. Some of you might grab your right wrist with your left fingertips. And then pull the crown of your head towards the top of your left foot. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good, start to come out of that. Right hand will come directly behind the right hip. Okay, right hand is behind the right hip. Inhale, lift your hips up. So you're balancing on your right shin. You're taking a back bend. Sweep the left fingertips back behind you. Open your chest, lift the hips higher. Last inhale. Exhale, hips come down. And it's not a fancy transition. It's not a pretty one, but we're gonna move back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good. Walk it out, bend your knees. And then other side, left leg lifts, inhale. Pigeon pose, exhale. Ekapadaraja Kapotasana. Left knee, left wrist. Slide the right leg all the way back. And then use whatever cushion you need. You know what I'm about to say, take the back bend, crawl your fingertips back, open your heart, let your hips sink down, and then fold. Sleeping pigeon. And then allow yourself to connect with that root. Allow yourself to feel grounded, to feel supported, to feel grateful for all of the blessings that we have in our lives, including this practice together. I'm really grateful that all of you come and show up for each other and for yourselves. And take about five more deep breaths. And bring yourself back into your body. Start to crawl the fingertips under the shoulders. Sweep your right leg out long in front of you. Find those tree pose legs. Ground the hips down, chest faces towards that right foot. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, fold. Janu Sirshasana. Grab onto what you can and just breathe. Cooling the body down. Good. Fingertips crawl back behind you. Left palm is directly behind the left hip. It's grounded down. Now lift the hips up. You're balancing on your left shin bone. Sweep the right fingertips back behind you. It's a big heart opener, big hip opener, big chest opener. Full inhale, 
Exhale, lower the hips all the way down. And let's just find humble yogi. So ground the feet down. Wrap your arms around your shins and let your eyeballs just rest on top of your knees. If the eyeballs can't rest on the knees, you just let your head and neck relax. Breathing here, letting yourself cool down, feeling whatever you're feeling. And keep your eyes closed and then slowly roll down onto your back. Right away, lift the hips all the way up. Bridge pose, step two, Bandhasana, feet are hips with distance. Heels are grounded. If anything, the toes are slightly in or parallel with your heels. And then you have options here. You can start to interlace your hands at your lower back. Scoop the shoulder blades together. Or for those of you that are ready for full wheel, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Plant your hands right by your ears. Fingers face the heels. Come up onto the crown of your head. And then lift everything up. Feel the inner thighs spinning and rotating down as you let your glutes hang heavy, heavy, heavy. Good. Ground the heels down. Lift a little bit higher. Inhale. Exhale, lower everything down. Upper back, mid back, and then low back. Knock the knees together, hand to heart, hand to belly. Close your eyes, breathe into your hands. And allow yourself to just be here now in your body, noticing whatever is coming up for you. And then we'll end with a forward fold on our back. So that will be plow pose and then an inversion shoulder stand, okay? So extend your legs all the way up towards the sky. Palms are down by your sides. Make sure you have room behind you. And then you'll kick your legs up and back behind you until your toes touch the floor behind you, the mat behind you. Plow pose, halasana. You're welcome to stay here. This is a pretty deep forward fold or you can bring your hands to your low back, your sacrum. Elbows will slide really close together and then use your core to lift your heels over your hips. Hips over shoulders, shoulders stand. 10 breaths, you're either holding shoulder stand or you're holding plow pose. Allowing your spine to decompress. Allowing the blood to flow into the brain. Just a few more moments. Good, if you're in shoulder stand, Come back to plow pose, and then everybody will release our hands from our low back and bend our knees. So squeeze the temples with the inner knees. This is called Karna Padasana, death man's pose. And then nice and slow, you're just gonna transition all the way down into happy baby. So one bone at a time, giving yourself the gift of that self massage. Since I can't be there to give you adjustments and massages in person, I'll have to give them to yourself. And then when you arrive in Happy Baby, capture the outer edges or inner edges of your feet. Ground your low back down. And you can move it around if that feels good. Stretch out your jaw. You know, I love doing that. Open your mouth really wide, side to side. And then since you have the space, since we're not in a public class, you can straighten out the legs, taking full straddle. Deep breaths. Good. 
Good. As you're ready, hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take a full inhale here. And as you exhale, release it out, Shavasana. Send your legs. Find whatever you need, props, towels over your face. Make yourself really comfortable. We'll be here for three minutes. And then I'll guide you out of it. So just rest. Palms face up, shoulder blades scoop underneath the back of your heart. And you can take your hair tie out, give yourself a little scalp massage, pretend I'm giving it to you. <laughs> Maybe give yourself a little wrist massage, a little shoulder massage, back of the head, back of the neck, the temples, the jaw, the third eye center. And then once you're done fidgeting, lay your whole body down, let yourself be heavy and just rest now. Together, we'll take a big breath in and a huge sigh, let it out. Close your eyes, Shavasana. You're welcome to stay in your Shavasana as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on with your evening, and start to move your body around, keep your eyes closed so you can rock your head and neck side to side. Give yourself another scalp massage, roll out the wrists, the ankles. And then make yourself into a tiny little ball. So hug your knees in towards your chest and rock on over towards your favorite side. 
for all of my friends that are in New York, maybe rocking over towards your left side, side of rest, side of sleep, ready to cool it down. And then everybody, if you're still with me, slowly push yourself up to that comfortable seat we started in Sukhasana. Finding that cross-legged position. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Just let your shoulder blades rest away from your ears. And allow yourself again to connect with your root, with your core. Feeling grounded, connected to yourself and your practice and each other. And we'll all bring our hands to heart center, Atman Anjali Mudra. May the work that we do here on our mats be of great benefit to everyone, everywhere. Take a big inhale, open mouth, exhale. Gently, we bow forward to seal it all in. Namaste. Namaste, friends. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really hope that I continue to see you guys every Wednesday. I'm doing this every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. Um, and 50% of donations go to Direct Relief, um, uh, an organization based out of Santa Barbara that is donating masks and um, gowns and everything to medical workers. So you guys can take yourselves off mute. I would love to hear you um, as you exit. But I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mary Stan. Love you. <laughs> Love you, Sarah. Yeah. Bye, Emily. Bye, Emily. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Emily. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. Hi, Emily. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Court. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Emily. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Sam. Love you. Love you. Thanks for joining. Bye, guys. Bye, Katie. Bye. Bye. I love the Jack Johnson. Oh, Thank yeah. Had to. You. Very relevant. So relevant. <laughs> bye, Emily. Love you. Oh, bye, Becca. Thank you, Mirsan. Thanks for joining. Susan, I think you're still in Shavasana, but I'm so glad you came. <laughs> Bye, you guys. See you soon. Bye.